Good evening, friends. This is Rahul Magan here as a group chief executive officer, treasury consulting, and also a venture capitalist. As we speak, treasury consulting is a multi-asset and multinational hedge fund. By multi-asset, I mean to say we actively invest in multiple asset classes which includes gold silver platinum palladium base metals agriculture metals foreign exchange equities and many other asset classes by multinational i mean we actively cover at three locations which is united states european union and Asia Pacific region. Having said that, we would be adding more asset classes, which includes DLC, daily leverage certificate traded in Singapore, which includes factor certificates in Switzerland. Probably in 2023, depends how World War would progress and so on and so forth we would be adding these asset classes but like i repeated many times and i would continue to repeat all the times that we are a proprietary hedge fund by proprietary i mean to say no third party i repeat no third party can invest capital in our funds Treasury Consulting do not invite any form of third party in our funds. Henceforth, we are a proprietary hedge fund. Today, I would like to cover a very important stock in Indian capital markets. And unfortunately, with due respect, so this stock is never getting any attention of the media. I understand Indian media is one of the most compromised media we have. It is not that it is only Indian media which is compromised. Globally also we have many media houses, those who are compromised. Just like Paytm declared a loss of 571 crore in a recent quarter. An academy fired once again around 350 people. Baiju's cutting around 2,500 jobs. There are hundreds of startups, those who are either winding up or cutting job. Udan, the so called e commerce player, cuts around 1,000 jobs. These all are public statistics. It is not that. I knew these statistics out of Blue Moon or Narad Muni came to me and told me these confidential statistics. These are on Google. You can refer them on Google. Yes, of course, you need to do a research in that regards. Henceforth, my opinion is always straight and clear, which is whenever I see media hyping any corporate financial institution, any mutual fund, any bank, or any corporate personality, I simply disregard that. I simply disregard that because I know it is nothing but a hype. And one of the stocks which, as far as the balance sheet is concerned, I always fond of is the Petronet. Rather, Petronet LNG. LNG stands for Liquefied Natural Gas. I don't think I need to repeat that we are almost on the verge of World War III. Iran, Russia, South Korea and many other countries of the globe directly or indirectly participating in the World War III. Yesterday, Pentagon made it very clear that due to the help which United States is granting to the Ukraine, 
the stockpiles of us is coming down alternatively they said in a very diplomatic language that there is a pressure which is building up on the united states defense industry diplomatically they said that i would say i don't know till what extent this diplomatic is true but uh, i know one thing that us is providing too much weapons to ukraine you know till what extent it is ethical or non ethical that is outside the scope of this video and of course this would putting a pressure on us in terms of cost in terms of weapons and so many factors henceforth god forbid i repeat god forbid if the world war 3 happens and unfortunately every passing day the probability is growing in nature oil and gas industry would be on the radar guys when we were kids remember the iran war when we were kids then came the kuwait war when we were more than kids then came the us invasion of afghanistan us invasion of iraq vietnam war and various other wars that had happened on time to time basis we all knew that the first impact during all these wars were on the oil gas i completely think that when it comes to these wars the oil and gas industry especially the financial markets of covering oil and gas it was not mature at that point of time vis-a-vis -vis as we speak today vis-a-vis -vis as we speak today but having said that now it is very much matured and since it is matured so common sense the impact of the world war on the oil and the oil related stocks would be much higher and severe if i look at the quarterly result of petronet lng it is meeting my first requirement which is the profitability my first requirement when it comes to stock of any market in the world and very soon we will start covering the mina mina means middle east markets if i look at the petronet then i'll give you the last 5 6 quarters in june 2021 pat pat means net profit after tax bottom line net profit in our parlance in june 2021 the net profit is 636 crores in september 2021 823 crores december 2021 1144 crores march 2021 750 crores june 2022 Seven hundred and one crores. September, which is very recent quarter, seven double four, seven double four crore. Which means, Petronet LNG is consistently giving profits, which is very important, very very important. If you look at the top line, top line means the revenue. In June quarter, it was around eight thousand six hundred crores, approximately. and in september quarter it is 16000 crores it is 16000 crores which means that from june 2021 till september 2022 around one year three month period around 15 months period we can say the revenue of you know petronet lng is near about double i repeat near about double 8600 crores to around 16000 crores near about double which is a commendable job i have to agree which is a commendable job but unfortunately the compromised and the sold media who only focusing on few selective stocks never highlighted this and this is the pain point and this is the reason why the people do not able to know that we have some good stocks also in the market when i speak about the annual pnl annual profit and loss account of the petronet lng 
then I am very pleased that somewhere in, say, financial year 2016, approximately, it was around 27,000 crores annual sales, 27,000 crores. And by March 2022, which means around five years, from 27,000 crores to 43,000 crores, an exceptional and commendable job. The bottom line, the PAT, on a yearly basis, in March 2017, it was 1,700 crores near about. And by March 2022, it was around 3,300 crores, which means almost double. The net profit is doubling in the last five years. And I'm talking about a period when the companies are raising debt Companies are defaulting, just like Future Group. There are companies who are into frauds. There are companies, you know, who are running away from the investors' money, money laundering and all this. LNG, Petronet LNG is giving substantially good result. This is very, very important and we should appreciate, you know, Petronet LNG in that regards. The very important factor, which is, to me, at least, always is the reserves and surplus component of the balance sheet. I am a statistical person. I believe in statistics. I believe in mathematics. I believe in financial figures. I believe in financial numbers. To me, it hardly matters whether the paid, sold and compromised media is agreeing to my view or do not agreeing to my view. To me, it really, really, really never matters. I am very pleased to see that the reserves and surplus of Petronet LNG is approximately 11, 000, around 12,000 crores, you can say. Around 12,000 crores, you can say, which is very good, commendable. We need to appreciate that, that Standing today, your balance sheet size is approximately 23, around 24,000 crores, you can say. In a balance sheet size of 24,000 crores, 12,000 crores is approximately your reserves. So between 12 to 13,000 crores, around, you can say. Which means near about 45 to 50%. This is what I can say. 45 to 50 percent of the balance sheet of Petronet LNG is reserves, which means free cash, which means every year those who are not very good in accounting, they just need to check every year you make profits. When you make profits, you would give whatever dividends to your customer, to your shareholders, your management and maybe ESOP and everything. Whatever you left with, you added in your equity for future m a for any uncertain situation, for any capex programs and all these. This is called reserves and surplus. And this is near about 12,000 crores for Petronet LND LNG, which is approximately, approximately 45 to 50 percent of the balance sheet. And it is commendable. It is really commendable. On the borrowing side, Petronet LNG again pleased me. They have a borrowing of only 3,500 crores, which is around 10 to 12 percent of the balance sheet. Maximum 15 percent of the balance sheet you can take, which means borrowings are only 15 percent of the balance sheet. And especially when you are in a business of gestation, Petronet LNG is a business of LNG oil and gas, which is a heavy capital expenditure business. It is not a food business wherein you just set up your shop and immediately the customers start coming and they take your product, you know, and you and you get your money. It is a business where you first set up big plants, big pipelines and whatnot, and then you start making the money. And the borrowings is only 3,400 crores, only 3,400 crores, which is really very, very important. 
the investments which means whatever mutual funds the fds it is also 1300 crores as of march 2022 the financial figures we have in the public domain overall considering the global backdrop i am extremely pleased from petronet lng and currently the petronet lng is near about 220 figures we can say and i am extremely pleased that petronet lng is not not far from the intrinsic value moreover the financial figures of petronet lng in the public is also closer to the good and a strong balance sheet i again would like to reiterate very firmly that the figures i have quoted in this video this figure the figures which i am quoting they are in public i have taken a screenshot of that figures and these figures are quoted by a website and it is provided by the company these figures are not from my side i am not the auditor of the company neither i am any regulator so there is no authenticity of the figures but whatever figures i have in the public i am telling you as far as the basic benchmark of a stock selection is concerned petronet lnt is meeting that benchmark and considering the global backdrop the russia ukraine war and all these kind of eventualities you know it is good for petronet lng and all the oil and uh, natural gas stocks to conclude treasury consulting is not advising anyone i repeat it is not as advising anyone to buy this stock or to sell this stock if you are buying this stock it is your call if you are selling this stock that is your call we are nowhere inviting you to make this happen as simple as that this is rahul bagan from treasury consulting group you knew my parcel number plus 9198992429780 in case of more information about treasury consulting group you can refer our fixed income platform www.fixedincome.global i repeat www.fixedincome.global thank you and uh, have a great time ahead